there, it's Annika from Nutrient and Wonder Hub. And this week on our Little Chefs program, we are going to be making some very caramel uh, popcorn balls. So this week's theme is all about birthday parties and parties in general. And today's theme is specifically about uh, movie night parties. So what do you usually have at a movie night other than a big bowl of popcorn? So in a very Wonder Hub way, we thought we'd have a bowl of popcorn and make it a little bit more fun. So we are going to be making these wonderful popcorn balls. So let's show you how it's done and get our little chef back in the kitchen. All right, so here we have all of our ingredients to make our popcorn balls. So first thing that you need is about 12 cups of popped popcorn. Uh, so we don't need any seasoning on here. So if you just use the kernels in an air popper, um, that is best, um, but if all you have is the microwave popcorn, you can make it with that too. Um, you'll just have a little bit of a salty buttery flavor um, with your popcorn balls as well. That's fine. So then we also need one cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of corn syrup. You can use the golden or you can use the white. Um, doesn't really matter whichever one you choose. And then you need a quarter cup of butter or margarine. Then I have a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. So to make our popcorn balls, we first need to make our caramel syrup. Um, so you'll get a pot, get it on your stove, and we are going to add uh, these first three ingredients plus the salt and mix it for about, bring it up to a boil, and then mix it for about two minutes and take it off the heat. Then we will add our uh, vanilla and our baking soda to it and then pour it all over the caramel corn. So let's get that all going. All right, so it's been two minutes of our sugar solution here boiling. So we are going to turn off the heat and if you have it on a stove, you'll want to remove it from the heat. Um, my little hot plate here cools down pretty quickly, so I'm just gonna leave it on. So I'll just stir that up. And now we're going to add our vanilla. And then our um, baking soda. go. So you want to mix that all up just so that the baking soda is all mixed in. There's no lumps. Um, you'll see it's turning this kind of light color. That's just the, the baking soda making everything really big and fluffy. So we'll mix that. It almost kind of looks like marshmallow, hey? All right. Give that a stir. That's looking pretty good. So this is quite hot right now. So this is definitely something for an adult to do or an older kiddo who is very comfortable in the kitchen under adult supervision, of course. Uh, so I'm just going to move my dishes off to the side and move my hot plate. So then you're going to take your big bowl of popcorn and you're just gonna take this caramel that we've made here, give it a good stir again, and we're just gonna dump it over top. Take that up out of the way, so just like that. So now we wanna take it and mix and make sure that all of the popcorn is coated or as much as you can. So it is going to be still a little bit hot here. Uh, so we're just going to Mix and be careful that you're not touching the syrup or the popcorn right now, because yeah, it, it, it could burn you. Um, so there, once we've kind of mixed it all in, you can see it's all mixed up there. So we are going to let this sit for a few minutes so that it can cool down so that we're able to hold it. Now, if you don't want to make popcorn balls and you'd rather just make caramel corn, um, you can take this, spread it on a cookie sheet, let it cool completely, and then break it apart too. Um, but we want to make popcorn balls. So I'm just going to let this cool. You want to let it cool so that it's still warm, um, but you're not going to burn your hands on it. So I'm just going to 
give that a couple minutes here and we'll be right back once that is cool to make our popcorn balls. All right, so we've let our popcorn sit here for a few minutes just to cool down. You can see it's starting to get a little bit crunchy and a little bit hard. Um, so now we're gonna make our popcorn balls. So what we do here is, so this is actually just a bowl of some margarine or you can use butter or you can use cooking oil, um, whatever you'd like. So this goes on your hands. So make sure your hands are nice and clean before you do this. And we're just gonna rub some butter on here. This is so that the caramel doesn't stick to our hands. If you've ever made Rice Krispie squares with all the marshmallow in there, you always have to pat it down with buttered hands uh, so that it doesn't stick. So then all we're gonna do is take a handful and squish it all together into whatever size uh, popcorn ball you would like. So this is a nice good size here. So let's get our little chef making our popcorn balls. So there we have our delicious caramel popcorn balls for your snacking enjoyment for your movie night party next time you have one. So thanks so much for joining us today on our Little Chefs program. Um, we hope you have a great time making your popcorn balls and definitely if you make some really cool creations, we would love to see those. So you can always post a photo in the comments below. And for future programming, you can stay right where you are or go to wonderhub.ca. See you next time.